your latest news update from Western Mass News. Good evening, I'm Jordan Jagelinzer. Here's your latest news update from Western Mass News. The Department of Public Health releasing today's COVID-19 data. The state's positivity rate over the last seven days sits at 2.5%. The state also reporting 18 new deaths due to the coronavirus. And so far, more than 2.2 million Massachusetts residents have received one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. There are approximately 6.8 million who live in the Bay State. For a full look at the numbers, check our free Western Mass News streaming app. And Western Mass News is getting answers tonight on where the bill to fund a new Holyoke Soldiers Home stands in the state as we approach the governor's April 1st deadline. State Senator John Velas tells us the bill is now in the hands of the Joint Committee on Bonding. He tells us in part, quote, April 1st is not a hard deadline, but getting the bill done by then would give the Division of Capital Asset Management and Maintenance the ideal four full months to complete the design process. We can still secure federal funding if the bill is signed before the April 15th VA State Veterans Home Construction Grant Program deadline. An update now on a high school hockey player who suffered a severe spinal cord injury in his game against Pope Francis in January. A.J. Quetta crashing headfirst into the corner board at the Olympia Ice Center in West Springfield. A.J.'s Army posting a message on social media today saying he is currently off the ventilator for 14 hours a day and the plan is to get him to 18 hours by Wednesday. The next step will be to take him off the ventilator completely. Though he's in a wheelchair, he is working three to four hours a day in the gym using the bike, practicing arm swings, and working with therapists. I'm meteorologist Jana Brown with a check of your forecast. We do have our next round of rain on the way, but most of it holds off until the end of the day tomorrow. So we'll be mild out ahead of the system. Temperatures reaching the low 60s. It'll be a bit breezy with wind coming in out of the southwest. Area of low pressure moving along a cold front is going to pass almost directly over New England. That's going to bring us a good soaking rain for Wednesday night to Thursday morning. And then we'll have scattered showers that linger Thursday, but it turns windy and colder as that colder air dives in. The Berkshires may see a change over to some snow showers. Then we dry out for Friday. High pressure builds in, but we are going to be blustery and much colder than normal. 62 for a high on the final day of March. Showers late. Skies will remain overcast and it will be a little blustery at times. Thursday will start off with highs near 50, but temperatures will crash into the low 40s by the afternoon with lingering showers. Friday dry with a high near 40. Then the weekend temperatures will climb back through the 50s to near 60 by Easter Sunday. Stay with Western Mass News on air, online, and on our app throughout the day for breaking news, weather, and exclusive content.